Okay, this video is on image opacity. As you can see, I'm at the W3 schools. You can see the website right up here. I'm in opacity and CSS opacity slash transparency. The opacity property specifies the opacity slash transparency of an element. The opacity property can take a value of 0.0, .0 and that would be no visibility at all, to full visibility, which is 1.0, okay? And the lower value and the more transparent. All right, so as I scroll down, you can see the examples up here, and what is happening is they are creating a CSS rule for IMG, which is the HTML tag for images and they're giving the opacity 0.5 which is this one up here and what I'm going to do is instead of using the IMG which is very very generic if you just did this in your CSS style sheet all your images that have that tag would be that opacity so I'm going to give my images a class so I can be very selective about which ones have the opacity all right, going to move to Dreamweaver. And as you can see, I just have three images on this document. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create three class selectors for each of these, and I'm going to give them the image opacity property. So I'm going to open up my CSS designer. I'm going to create a class. Remember, classes start with a period, and I'm just going to call the first one period IMG1, and that's going to be for this one right here. And I'll come back and put the actual properties and values. I'm going to create another class, and I'm going to call this one IMG, and I'm going to call it 2. And I'll do one more for this third one, adding a selector, and I'm going to call it period IMG. Three. All right, now I'm going to add the opacity property. Again, coming back here, the opacity property. I'm going to select this class. And unfortunately, there is nothing in here for opacity to select. So we're going to go under the last square where it says more. And I'm going to type in here opacity. And when I start to type Dreamweaver gives me some code hints, and I can see opacity right here, so I am going to select it. And for this first one, I'll just follow the examples, and I'll do 0.2 for this one as far as opacity. I'm going to go to the next class under More, and I'm going to type out Opacity, select it from the drop-down. This one will be, I'll do 0.5 or half the opacity for the last one. Again, in the more opacity. There it is. And this time I'll do 0.75. All right, I've got all the classes created. You can see them at the top or in the head of my document. I created an internal style sheet. So what I need to do is give these images the class or apply them. So I'm going to open up my properties panel, which is right here at the top. Selecting this image from the class drop down, I'm going to select the class I created for image one. I'm going to select my next image. Got a little bit of hard time selecting it. There I go. And apply the second class or M IMG2. I'm going to go to my third one from the drop down. Again, this is selected, and I'm going to apply the third. Now, if I look in here, you can see where the class was added to this first image. You can see where the class was added to the second one, and move this out of the way, and the class was added here. So these are triggering the styles that I created up here in my style tag. You cannot see the opacity change in design view, so I am going to flip, 
flip to live view and there we go let me go ahead and preview on the web as well so i'm coming down here to the lower right hand corner i'm going to select safari save and there you go let's try something a little bit different this next time okay i am back at the w3 schools web page i am in opacity just so you can see the web address it's listed right here and for the first demo what i did was this example and what i'm going to do is this one where you've got 50 percent opacity and then when you put your mouse over it it goes to full opacity and if i look down here the property for its original view is the half opacity so opacity 0.5 then when you hover over it, it becomes full opacity or 1.0. So I'm not going to use the actual HTML tag because it's very generic. Rather, I'm going to use a class to do that. So I'm back here and I've already got the opacity set for each of these images under a class. And I'm going to add a selector for the hover. So in the CSS designer, I'm going to add a selector and I'm going to do dot IMG one colon and call up the hover. I'm going to go under more again and I'm going to type opacity. In the drop down it pops up and I want to put full opacity, which is one. 0.0. Okay, I can see it right here. I'm going to do it for the second one as well. I'm going to add a selector and I'm going to type dot IMG2 colon hover. I'm going to select under more opacity. There it is. I'm going to type 1.0. I'm going to do the third one, add the selector, period, IMG3, colon, selecting, hover, under more, start typing opacity, there it is, and I'm going to put 1.0, and there we go. So each of these have the original opacity set, which is half the opacity, and then I'm taking them to full opacity when you roll over them. So let me go ahead and preview on the web. Saving the document. Here are the images and moving my mouse over and so forth. Now I could do it the opposite way where it's full opacity and then it goes to half opacity so let me just go into my style sheet here, or these styles, and I'm just gonna change the values. So I'm gonna change the value from 0.5 here to 1.0. I'm gonna do the same thing here, 1.0. Same here, 1.0. And here, where it's the hover, I'm going to change it to 0, 0, 0.5, same thing here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So the original state is going to be full opacity, and then when I hover, it's going to go to half opacity. Let me go ahead and preview on the web. Save, bring the document over, it's on my other desktop. And there you go. Also, don't forget that you can add links to images as well. So maybe I'll find just a cat page. So uh, I'll type in Google all about cats. And I'll just grab this one. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna copy the web address. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna select this image in the link area. I am going to paste. 